Hello my lovelies. So I have just been filming. I filmed a review of this wig. This is Raquel Welch Wavy Day, but you would have seen it on one of the Saturdays. Um, but I just wanted to show you something. So it's still very warm. I'm not even thinking about autumn. Well, I am a bit because they've started putting out autumn winter clothes in shops. Not that I need much, uh, but you know. What I really wanted and been after is a beige trench coat. So, in the UK, it's never ever very cold in the winter, especially down south where I live. Sometimes we get a few really cold days, but um, I have a puffer jacket for that. So, I've been looking for a beige trench coat, but I didn't want to spend lots of money, you know, hundreds of pounds. So, I don't live in a big city that I walk a lot to places. I basically get in a car, get out in, out of the car, in a car park, go straight to the shop. So wearing real thick winter coats is a no-no. You would be just sweating so much. So I just wanted something not too thick, but not too thin, that I can, you know, if it's a bit cold, I can put thick jumper underneath. And I found one. And I think they are so versatile, you know, you can wear them with casual clothes, with jeans, uh, with tracks of bottoms, you can wear them with dresses and elegant trousers. So I just think it's going to be such a useful piece of clothing. So I will show you the one that I bought and of all places I bought it on Amazon. This one was I think £80. Um, and I just tried it on and I love it. So let me show you. I will drag a mirror here because I have all my equipment set up here. I just grab my vlogging camera and show it to you here. Okay, ignore what I'm wearing <laughs> on the bottom. <laughs> I just have my leggings on and flip-flops. But this is the coat. It's just below my knee. Here are the buttons. It has like adjustable straps here. It has a belt. Um, at the back, can you see it's got that windproof cape thing. Um, so let me just put the camera down and um, I will do it up with the belt and I show you other ways that I would wear it. It's got nice pockets as well pockets are a must so here it is done up so you can do it up right up to your neck it's got a button here but i just don't want to do it up or obviously you can have it like this i think i got mine in medium plenty of room unless you wanted to wear really thick jumper underneath but i wouldn't so this is one way you can wear it. I probably will wear it a lot open, but to give it a bit more shape, I will tie the belt at the back. Let me do that. I can't see what I did there at the back, but can you see it gives you more shape when it's open? Let me see. I hope you can see. I've just tied it. I've just tied it at the back and I think it's such a nice quality as well. This is the lining. Um, it's not very flimsy and very thin. It's just really, really nice um, trench coat. They did one, I think, that is a bit shorter, like sort of like a jacket length, and they did them in few colors. I can't remember if they call this one light beige because sometimes um, they call beige color khaki um this is definitely light beige so and that's exactly the color i wanted yes so i thought i'll share it with you just in case you are looking for nice inexpensive trench coat <laughs> and this is from behind the scenes of youtuber <laughs> So you put something nice and presentable on the top, but no one cares what you have at the bottom. <laughs> Sometimes I actually film in my pyjama bottoms, so <laughs> you never know, but no one can see that. So there you go. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. I'm just chilling. 
look at this look at you all this is because of you if I didn't have you my house would be so tidy well he doesn't care now I can't be bothered to do anything so I'm just sitting here because Paul is very busy he is sorting out his garage yes it's his garage like the loft is his you know women are not allowed in a loft we are just the passer uppers <laughs> so he is busy himself he's bought some you know industrial type shelves that he's building uh, to organize his garage so that's good and I'm just sitting here doing nothing feeling guilty about it but not too much <laughs> I know what I could do I could go and report my what is it what is it it's not magnolia it's orchid <laughs> But I have to go and watch again this video that I've saved about reporting it. And I'm going to start talking to this magnolia, no magnolia, orchid, because I believe that talking to plants helps. That's why this one did so well, because I did talk to it. I told you I normally kill everything. I've got here my oscar's casket let me show you this is my aussie and this is because um it's the anniversary of his death today and we always get him out because they sit in a hallway on a on a shelf but if it's oscar or chester if it's the anniversary we always get them out and for her, for their birthdays as well so yeah that's really sad oh my god i had this really weird experience yesterday last night so i don't know if you believe in ghost spirits i'm not sure i do i would like to because that would confirm that there is life after death and i know someone that is one of those i don't know mediums or whatever and she said to me that how you can experience a presence of someone who passed away is sometimes by different smells and uh, last night i was sitting here just watching stuff on my laptop and suddenly I said to Paul, what is this smell? It smells like a fresh shampoo type of thing. I don't know, like this beautiful, fresh, clean smell. He said, well, I can't smell anything. And obviously we were just sitting here. And I mentioned to him about this woman that I know that said sometimes smells mean. And Paul said to me, it's Oscar because yesterday we brought his casket here into the living room and he said it's probably Oscar and I thought yes this smells like you know when you pick up your dog from the groomers that sort of fresh shampoo smell so I don't know I don't know if it's anything in it but it made me feel better that Oscar was visiting so Yes, it was really nice. Right, I'm gonna go and be lazy. Or I might report my orchid, I don't know. Hi my lovelies. Um, I just wanted to show you something. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine, but it's a laundry day. What I wanted to show you is this. So, uh, this is the L'Oreal Elvive Dream Lens 8 second Wonder Water. And I've seen it for months, if not longer. And I thought, shall I try it? Shall I not? And I never got to buy it. But I thought, let me try it because my hair is feeling a bit unhealthy. And I love it. So, 
um, I should have shown you this morning um, after I've washed my hair and I normally just dry it with a hair dryer till it's completely dry and then I style it and normally when I dry it completely it looks like a straw you know because I've got bleached hair I use a lot of heat on it straightness every time um, and it's very fine but after this when I dried my hair this morning it was so much more tamed and not as you know strawy looking of course my ends still were not perfect but it looked so much better and so soft and it smells divine as well so uh, when you look at the ingredients it doesn't look like anything special but this is lamel lamella water and there is real science to it. I had a quick read about it. Uh, if you research lamera, lamella water, it's something to do with the positive charge uh, that it has in it because damaged hair has negative charge. So it's something to do with that. So how you use it in your shower, <clears throat> um, after shampooing, you've got here measurements so each dose is 20 milliliters uh, for hair like mine i need probably just one dose or even less i've used a bit less than 20. um you know it's got this nozzle it's just like water so just grab your hair and pour this from mid length don't do it right at the um, root i did it like from mid length and just press it in and you will start getting a bit warm you can feel the warmth from it when you activate and just a few seconds after that you rinse it and then you can use conditioner as well which i did and i love it it's so so good so i'm gonna keep using it because my hair felt so much nicer um I probably could have just gone without straightening it it wouldn't look nice because my hair is it has to be styled otherwise it looks rubbish but I thought for the days that I don't need to style my hair I'm not going anywhere I'm not making videos I probably will just wash my hair use this dry it and put it up so I don't use so much heat on it so yes I thought I'd tell you about it it's nothing new and I'm sure a lot of you already probably using it I've got it it's inexpensive as well I like it because I think is it red can that does one as well the lamella why can I say it lamella water but obviously it's more expensive so yeah wanted to tell you about that okay a piece of advice so you know I work out twice a week with personal trainer, work really hard for an hour each time. I lift weights and do cardio and all that stuff. And you also might remember that I now and again get injury like my IT band or my lower back or my knees head. And remember when I was going to that sports injury therapist who is amazing. And he told me the reason I get injuries is because my quads and my hamstrings and my hips are very tight. And he said, Nisha, it is great that you're working out and doing weights. That's very, very healthy and good for you. But he said, unfortunately, he's around my age, he says at our age, being supple and flexible is everything. He said that's why all the people break their hips and and have aches and pains in their butt in their knees he said you have to stretch so he gave me some stretches to do and i did them like once hated hate stretching that's why i don't like yoga yoga is very good if you do yoga then you're fine but i find it so boring and it's difficult because i am so tight i mean I cannot put my flat hands on the floor with my legs straight so um, yes I didn't do it and 
I started getting pain in my IT band, in my knee again while working out. So I said to my PT, right, I really need to do some stretches. I said, just tell me what to do, send me some videos. And he sent me a video of this girl um, her channel is full of stretches and he sent me this particular one which is for your hamstrings and your abductors and your hips and I've been doing that three times a week and I tell you it makes such a difference I stopped having pain in my knee in my um, IT band it just makes such a difference and I'm still very stiff but I suppose if I keep at it I will get more and more supple so as much as I hate it I've committed to do it so if you are not so into working out try with stretching because I tell you something it looks so easy and it's nice and relaxing to be honest but it's difficult and you do sweat just doing the stretching <laughs> so maybe start with that if you're not if you know if you're someone that that is not working out and you don't have time or um, don't want to go to the gym maybe start with stretching because that is very important you know especially as we get older so that's what, what I wanted to give you this piece of advice now I still haven't reported my orchid look at it poor thing it's just got one flower left and the new leaf is getting really big so i'm gonna do it just now after i finish talking to you but i haven't um watched any videos yet so i need to watch it what i don't know so i've got this pretty pot that i bought for it i bought it on ebay somewhere and i bought you know this plastic one with holes now I don't know if I need to pot it in this or I can pot it straight into that because I'm sure when I was watching some videos about looking after orchids they said you don't have to pot it in those plastic ones you can do it straight in a big one so I'm gonna go and watch some more videos and see because I don't really know what to do because this one is a bit bigger than this so I could pot it in there and then pop it in this in this pot oh I don't know and it's too late now waiting for your advice because I want to do it now and you are not seeing this video now so anyway that's what I'm going to do and when I've done it I will show it to you right I've done it here it is so I've put it in that plastic pot and then the plastic pot sits inside here because you can't really put in too big a pot apparently because then the water evaporates too quickly from the medium and the roots don't have time to absorb it. So I will probably put it in a big pot in a couple of years when it gets bigger. And just as well, I watched the videos because I was going to chop the spikes right down here. But the girl that I watch, is she called Miss Orchid Girl? Something like that. Told me to look for, not me, <laughs> uh, but she said to look for dormant little buds that grow out here. And I found one here, one here and one here and you just cut centimeter above it. So there it is. I've talked to it now, so it's gonna grow nice and healthy. Max! I've got Max here, he's come for lunch. Do you wanna come and say hello? People haven't seen you for years. Max, come for lunch. Just come to eat me out of my food. That sounds really bad. Sorry? That sounded really bad. <laughs> <coughs> I remember your watch. You always leave your watch here. There is my baby. <laughs> right, he's going now. I'll speak to you later. Good morning, y'all. Right, I've just given Louis a bath. So 
Louis goes to the groomer every four weeks, so I don't really have to bath him. If he gets really dirty, I sort of wash the bottom of him, you know, his, his legs. But he's supposed to go to the groomer last week and she texted me saying that she was really not well. So she had to cancel it. So I have to wait for his next appointment, which altogether will be eight weeks. Oh, I don't even know if I do it in the winter every five weeks because he gets colder. So I think he has his haircut every five weeks in the winter. I don't know. Anyway, it's a nightmare giving him in my bath. He's quite good though, but I don't know how the groomers do it. I've also, um, I have a, um, do you remember in the first lockdown, I had to cut his hair myself. I bought one of those clippers. They are not that good, but they do the job. So I just trimmed a bit around his face and, and his body, just tiny bit. Um, so yes, I've given him a bath. Look at the state of me. My hair is dirty. I haven't been anywhere for two, three days. I've just been at home. I haven't had gym this week. So I don't want to wash my hair today because tomorrow we are going for dinner to our friends. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. Also, they're starting on our decking tomorrow. So remember, I've told you my decking, um, the carcass underneath has rotted so uh, they're going to redo that right i've started shopping for autumn winter now and i've got three things to show you so i bought some jumpers sweaters um very boring everything is beige so i tend to you know i love color and in the summer i go all out with all the colors but in the winter i just wear black or neutrals uh, one that when you go out you usually have a coat on or something so no one can see what you're wearing anyway and i am um, i don't know do you know what i mean you like not bothered i want to be a bit more comfortable and more sporty but still look nice and on trend so i am so pleased with this I got this sort of college type jumper from Reese. You know, Reese is like a premium high street brand. Uh, it's quite expensive, but I found this in a sale. I know I'm telling you this, maybe I shouldn't because um, this sold out now, but it was, how much is it originally? Originally, this is 148 pounds. Um, and I think I got it for 60 so it's like la less than half price it's really lovely it looks so good with jeans uh, you can wear it with beige trousers you can wear it with cream joggers oh I actually got some joggers I'll show you um did I already say beige trousers yeah so I think you can wear it with so many things I'm not going to try it on I will probably do like a autumn fashion video I got these cream joggers I got cream and white I know you might think oh my god white joggers but what well, doesn't matter you can you wear cream trousers these are just from Zara they are so inexpensive I think I don't think I think they were under 20 pounds they are not very thick but very soft very nice not very long they just come up to my ankle and i'm five foot five i got them in size medium and they are more on a slim fitting side which i like because i think they look a bit more not the joggers can look elegant but they don't look too like you're going to the gym you know so I, I thought that will look nice even with this jumper and some nice trainers, you know, stuff like that. Then I got this hoodie. This is silk cotton. This is from the White Company. They are quite expensive as well. Well, this one was £89. They did um, joggers like this that went with it but and I ordered them as well but they were funny fit you know around your private area they looked a bit you got camel toe 
uh, because it's very fine knit it's not like cotton like the other joggers this is like um silk cotton um so that's another really nice thing again will look nice with um jeans or with joggers or even with um like a slim fit beige trousers and then this was a find i i think i'm into like knitted hoodies this this season and this one i got in marks and spencers and this is so gorgeous and soft and it's only 27 pounds 50. so it's a hoodie it's like a um beige mall with black stripes again this i can wear with black trousers with black jeans with normal jeans again with joggers with um, beige trousers so i think i'm just trying to buy things because what i normally do i see something that i really like i used to do that much more than i do it now see something that i really like the look of and it looks good on me and I just buy it, not thinking, have I already have something in my wardrobe that will go with it? Uh, where am I going to wear it? Am I going to wear it a lot? So now I'm trying to think of that. When you buy one item, you think how many outfits you can get out of it. Have you got already something in your wardrobe that will go with it? So that's how I'm thinking now when I'm shopping. So yes, these are the things that I bought and I'm very, very happy with them. Do you know what I hate about autumn? Not autumn so much, because in autumn you can wear pumps and you can wear trainers, but winter, when it comes to fashion, I don't know what to do with footwear. I usually wear black knee-high flat boots which i've had for years and i from june and i still love them they they look a bit military style i am now on the lookout for those biker boots you know the ones that come up like a bit lower than half on your calf with like lace up at the front because I've noticed that all this is coming into fashion. Biker boots been in fashion for, for a while but this season there is lots of it around and I've noticed cargo trousers, cargo uh, tracksuit bottoms which I'm not too keen about um, because they can, you know, they have these pockets and they can look a bit bulky therefore they can make you look bigger than you are but you can find something that has that cargo element to it but is still not out there so I want to look on trend, not trendy if you know what I mean I think trendy I'm going to leave to the young ones because they can get away with anything so um, yes, the the footwear is a big problem for me like if I that's why I mostly wear skinny jeans because they look good with knee-high boards and that's it but if I wanted to wear like beige trousers like nice elegant trousers then I have to have beige boots with a heel and I'm not for it really so that's why probably I probably have a couple of like elegant winter outfits but you probably will see me much more in sporty stuff, you know, cash, comfortable. Oh, oh, one more thing. So I've just received new Sigma collection, Disney Alice in Wonderland. Um, I thought I'd show you because I think it is coming out on the 8th of September. Yes this is coming out on the 8th of september so if you didn't know that they have a new collection you want to have a look at it i thought i'd tell you now because i think i won't be able to do a video with it this week it will have to be next week so um but i will quickly show you what's in it it's beautiful um, and let me just tell you that if you buy the whole collection i i'm not sure if you let me just show you. 
so it comes in this gorgeous box they always they PR is beautiful isn't it gorgeous you can buy the whole collection and if you do you save 20% you get 25 20% off but I don't know if that would come in this box like this it would be nice but I don't know if this is just PR um, and you would just get it in a normal box I don't know but let me quickly show you oh my god it's so beautiful so there is a eyeshadow palette the Alice in Wonderland lovely colors um greens you know i don't often use greens but whenever i do i really enjoy it it has some um, browns sort of purplish and burgundy and some gold it has a good good collection but i feel like this would be more appropriate for spring not that i'm that bothered i'm not one of these people that thinks oh in the winter you can just wear greys and browns and in the summer colorful eyeshadows but it just seems natural to do that if you know what i mean so i will um do a video and i will do a look with this palette i'm gonna try to actually imitate the look that is on this box because that's quite nice so i will do that then what you get in here is alice in wonderland two shaped chick duo palette so you get here a um, blush and a highlighter this blush looks gorgeous gorgeous mauve color then you get two lip products you get lip cream and lip gloss i've already tried the lip cream and it's gorgeous gorgeous color i think i'm gonna put it on and i'm so glad because they usually put matte lipstick and a gloss but i'm not that into matte lipsticks but this is you know cream color with um really good color saturation i have very light lipstick on so it might not give you the actual color Now it got a bit lost with the lipstick, but it's a lovely mauve um, lip cream. And then you have this lip gloss. And then you get the beautiful bag with five brushes. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd just quickly show it to you just in case you didn't know that this is coming out and you want to have a look if you're interested in it at all because i won't be able to do the video for it before the launch my t-shirt very very old from animal it's pro it's at least 10 years old i have these colorful t-shirts from um, hollister or animal or super dry uh, they are used to love they are so soft but they must be such good quality because i've had them like for 10 years but i only really wear them around the house so it's very old okay my lovelies i'm gonna finish here i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye